Hello, this video is about place value. It's about the value of a digit in a number because of its place or its position in that number. So let's take the number 42 for example. That 4 actually represents 4 tens or 40 and that's why the number is 42. The 2 of course is in the 1's position so that does just represent 2. Well, let's think of a bigger number, 2,534. Now, it's the way I say it, 2,000, you can tell that the 2 represents 2,000s. And it's because of its position in that number that we know that it represents 2,000. The 5 represents 500, the 3 represents 3 tens, and the 4 just represents 4. It's in the 1's position, so it just represents 4. So if I add those four numbers together, the 2,500, add 30, add 4. And then altogether, I will get 2,534. That's how it works. Okay, let's look at that in more detail. I've written the number 2,534 in this grid. And to show you exactly the place value that we're talking about, I'm going to put column headings above the numbers to show quite clearly that we have two thousands, five hundreds, three tens, and four ones. And if you add all those together, you'll get 2,534. So that's what we call the column headings, and that helps you remember the value of the place where the digit appears in a number. Now, they're not the only column headings, because if we have a slightly bigger number, the next column heading is 10 thousands. Now, if I turn these into numbers, you can see that each of the column headings is 10 times bigger than the column heading to the right of it. So starting off with 1, multiply by that, that by 10, and that gives you the second column heading, working from right to left. Then multiply that by 10 again, gives you 100. So that's the third column heading, then 1,000, then 10,000. So they're each powers of 10, the column headings. And if I put another digit here, we can see that this number is 72,534. The 7 represents 7 ten thousands, or 7 times 10,000, or 70,000. So we have 70,000, and 2,000, and 500, and 30, three tens, and four ones, that's four. Add them together, we get 72,534. But it doesn't stop there. We have more column headings. Let's turn those into words. So I'll put a couple more digits in here. And let's say we'll have this big number now. 6,172,000. 534. And of course, the column headings would go on and on and on if I had more room. But I'm going to stick there now with millions and say that's as far as I'm going to go. Now, you need to learn these column headings. When you get to level one of the online exercise, the questions will be like this. Which number is in the hundreds column? And you can see from this example, it would be the answer 5. Which number is in the millions column? You can see here, the number must be 6. The digit is 6. Or, which digit represents thousands? And in this case, it would be 2. So that's how you answer the questions in level 1. Have a go. The address is below. And then come back here for a little bit of help with level two. So here's level two of the online exercise. 
you have to complete the table. So for each row, you start with a number on the left. This time we've got 500. And first of all, you have to add one more to it. That means adding one to the ones column. So this then becomes 501, which you type in there. Now we're going to add 10 more to the number in the very left column. So that means adding one to the tens column. So as you can see, that will be 510. Adding 100, that means adding one to the hundreds column, will give you 600. And then adding a thousand means adding one to the thousands column. Well, there's no representation, there's no digit in the thousands column for this number 500. So it will just be 1000 followed by 500. As you're working through the exercise, click the check button to make sure you're getting the answers right as you go along. Have a go at that. And when you're finished, come back for some help with level three. This is level three of the online exercise, similar to level two, just a little bit more tricky. So here we're going to add 200. That means adding two to the hundreds column, and that will give you 700. Now we're going to add 2000. That means adding two to the thousands column. That will give me 2500. Now we're going to add 30,000. So that's three to the ten thousands column. So that will give me 30,500. And now we're going to add nine million, adding nine onto the millions column. I'm gonna make a mistake with this one first. To show you what happens when you press the check button, it'll tell you you're wrong, but don't leave it at that. Try again until you can get the answer right. So, Maybe I need to put a couple of zeros in there to push that nine along into the millions column. Let's try. No, not quite. Maybe I've only pushed it into the hundred thousands column. Let's try adding another zero there. And now we have six digits after the nine. So yes, that must represent nine million. So now when I click check again, yeah, it's right. So have a go at level three, and then come back here to this video when you're finished. The next thing you need to know about is the column headings for decimal numbers. So here we have the number 42, but what if I make that into a decimal? Let's say 42.7. The next column, after the decimal point is the tenths. So I would put the seven there, and that would represent seven tenths. Let's go back to figures, and can you see that as we multiplied by 10 as we went to the left, similarly, as we go to the right, we continue that pattern, and then we divide by 10. So after the decimal point, the first column represents tenths. I could add one more column and that would represent hundredths. So the number 42.73, the seven would represent tenths and the three would represent hundredths. I can keep adding more and more columns on just as before until I run out of space. And as you can see, each column heading is one tenth of the previous one. You need to know these? Well, not sort of memorize them exactly as they're written here, but be able to work them out with a piece of paper by continually multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10 as often as necessary. So let's have a look at the next level. This is level five of the online exercise and 
filling in a table similar to levels two and three. So for the first question, we start off with 1,000.5, and we want to add on one-tenth. That's adding one to the tenths column. Remember, the tenths column is just after the decimal point. So we still have that 1,000, and then type in the decimal point, and then add one onto that five to make it a six. Now we're going to add 600,000 more. So that's six to the 100,000 column. So that'll give me a six, zero, one, zero, 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 point five. Now we're going to add 5,000 more. So five to the thousands column. So that will give me six altogether in the thousands column. And finally, seven hundredths more. You have to be really careful. See that TH at the end? It's not seven hundreds more, it's seven hundredths. And the hundredths column is the second one after the decimal point when you're moving to the right. So the number is then 1000.57. That's the hundredths column. Let's check I've got these right. Yes. Okay, have a go at doing level five. Don't forget to press the check button regularly and then claim your trophy if you get enough, enough of them right to, uh, to merit a trophy. Good luck. Now, when you finish the place value set of exercises, those five levels, come here and try this set of exercises called Know Your Place. They're all to do with calculations, which you can do quite easily in your head if you've got a good understanding of place value. Okay, now it's your turn to have a go at the online exercise. Don't forget to press the check button regularly as you're working through the questions to see if you're getting them right. And if you make a mistake, have another thing and correct your answer and then press that check button again. Don't forget to claim your trophy when you've got to the end. And there are lots more activities on the Transom website for you to have a go at to improve your mathematics and you can claim hundreds of trophies. So, what are you waiting for? Get going. Bye. You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free. Or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.